All right, a uh, small update for my uh, Profi OS3 uh, Kylo Ren crossguard styles. Um, so I just wanted to share it. Um, so these these do feature all the transitions. These do feature the new responsive blade, which is using the smooth swing function. Um, but uh, uh, Danny Newman had uh, kind of been playing with it, and he had a small suggestion uh, for the end lockup. Um, and at first, it wasn't it wasn't something that was easily done. Um, and I was looking at maybe doing a mod or messing around with uh, something in the fork. But uh, always one for a challenge. I, I just kept at it and I finally got something that looks pretty good. Um, so hopefully everybody enjoys it. So um, what it is, I, I've changed two things on these styles. And the, the library as of now will have these new versions. Um, if you like the old versions and you have them, go ahead and keep them. Um, so, but what it is now on begin lockup, there's going to be, instead of just a quick white flash, there's going to be kind of an unstable white flash. It just looks, it's minor, but it's a little improvement. And then on the end lockup, uh, Danny's suggestion was to have the power, which is in localized lockup, surge up and down the blade. And there wasn't a direct, easy way to do it, unfortunately. Um, and I tried a bunch of different methods, and I was looking to do it a mod, um, and then I kind of just kept at it. And I, what I ended up doing was I ended up nesting some transition effects uh, together. Um, so I'm not using uh, join or concat because it wasn't doing what I wanted. So I actually nested a few transitions together with each other. So now when you end lockup, uh, so you'll have on lockup, you'll have the quick flash of an unstable white, localized lockup in the center of the blade, which still has its movement. But then on end lockup, there's going to be a center flash of white that will then ripple up and down the blade. Um, and it, it was tricky. It's not a, it's not a straightforward effect, um, but the end result looks pretty good. Um, so, and I've been tweaking it to get it to just about where I want it. Um, so I've, I've added the cell library, but let me show it. So there'll be a little change to the, uh, begin lockup, localized lockup is the same. And then there's a change to how end lockup looks. So now you get that effect. Um, so I'll show it again. Oops. So that's the new end lockup effect. So it's basically meant to be from goes from localized lockup, and then that power is then going to go up and down the blade from a center flash. So one more time, just because I think it looks cool. So uh, hopefully you all enjoy it. Um, so more to come. Um, I, I've spent a little bit of time on this one. So I haven't gotten around to any more new styles, but these are up on the library now. Um, so it'll be for my Kylo Ren version, um, for Pull to the Darkness, and then I have the Stable to Unstable and Unstable to Stable versions for CrossGuard. Those four, as of right now, will have this new end lockup and begin lockup uh, transitions.